Well, good morning, everybody. Here on a Monday morning, the day after our big first event at our new location. Um, I apologize for that video yesterday. Uh, that was just all over the place. Uh, I don't know what got into Allison, but she was a handful yesterday. So we're reading through the first uh, three chapters of Proverbs. And as we do, just a reminder that this was during um, a good period for Solomon. Uh, he hadn't got into all of the uh, various wives' uh, situations, uh, his relationship with the Lord, although it wasn't like his father's, it was still, it was still a good relationship. Um, and, and wisdom was, was, was strong in him at, at, this, at this point. So the, the Proverbs is a, the good part of, of Solomon. The Ecclesiastes that comes later, that, that's when he had lost his, his way and everything seemed uh, useless and pointless. But as we read through these three chapters, there's, um, there's some things that will stand out. Obviously, his, him speaking about wisdom. Uh, but there's also the, the, the whole aspect of fear where he says fear is the beginning. Uh, you know, fear of the Lord is the beginning. Um, and, and this fear is something that people have problems with because we know in the, in the New Testament it says that, uh, uh, you know, that love drives out fear. But the, the, that fear is a fear of condemnation. Uh, the, the fear that, that Solomon is talking about is not a fear of condemnation. It, it's, a, it's, it's, I don't know if you've ever been in the presence of somebody who wields a lot of power, uh, but there's a certain respect uh, because of the power that they, they wield. It, it's, it's like the respect that you'd have for a river or an ocean. Uh, they're beautiful and, and you want to use them, <clears throat> but at the same time, if you are not careful, if you don't show them respect, uh, they can turn around and uh, kill you. Uh, same thing with electricity. We all use electricity, but man, you gotta respect electricity. Don't fool around with it. Don't do things that you shouldn't do with it. So this is the kind of a re, uh, fear that, that Solomon is talking about. And, and if you don't think that you, you can be in the presence of the Lord and there not be an element of that respect, of that fear, then you don't know Him. You don't know Him as you ought to know Him. Uh, because when you stand in the presence of the Lord, uh, the, the, you acknowledge His power, you acknowledge His authority, you acknowledge who He is, and you're not going to fool around with that. Uh, you, you, you show that respect, and that's, that's what Solomon is talking about here. And, and before you can go anywhere, you've, you've, got to, you've got to have this respect for the Lord. Um, and, and we all know with various teachers that we've had in our lives, the, the teachers that we respect are the ones that we learn from. They're the ones that we submit to. So when we come before the Lord, it's the acknowledgement that we don't know very much and He knows everything and we need to learn and He wants to teach. Uh, so there's that element of respect. So going forward, it, you, you want to maintain that. It, it, there's, a, there's an element of humility. When we stand before the Lord, it's not a false humility, oh, I'm a worm, uh, but there's a humility that you are everything and I know practically nothing and I'm dependent upon you. Uh, for, for knowledge. I'm dependent upon you for wisdom. I'm dependent upon you um, for, for everything. It's not just, um, uh, it's, it's not just um, provision that we look for from the Lord. Uh, he provides us with the wisdom that we need. And James tells us if you don't have wisdom, ask for it. He's glad to give it. Uh, knowledge, it's the same thing, knowledge. Um, the wisdom is a vehicle that allows us to put knowledge into practice and that makes it righteous. That's a righteousness then that we start start living and operating it which is where we need to be so anyways that's a that's a mouthful um develop your develop your fear of the lord develop your respect and uh a big part of that is love you know if you don't love the lord you're not going to come to to understand that fear and respect it's going to be it's going to be a thing of condemnation if you don't if you don't understand um how much he loves us then what you will develop is uh, a fear of condemnation, not, not, not a fear as in respect, as in awesome. You're, you just stand in awe of who he is. God bless. Have a great day.